Hello and welcome everyone. This is Ice Nine Ghost or Diamond Kings TV. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to do re signing on Save Wizard, re regioning on Save Wizard, and how to add your profile and delete one if so needed. These are some of the most common things, and I'm trying to start out from the baseline, which is going to be underneath the profile that is highlighted that you can see right now. I'm going to start. I'm going to go from start to finish, pretty much showing you how to do everything I just said, which is re-signing, re-regioning, adding a profile, and deleting it. So the first step you need to do would be to get on your PlayStation, which I'm on now, and then get onto your console. So this one has a login password, so go ahead and type that in. That won't prohibit your profile from being registered. It's just something that this one has. And I'm also going to be showing you three different types of game saves. So I'm going to be resigning more than one game save to show you different aspects of what they can do. Uh, you're also going to be able to see all my notifications because I'm using a capture card. So whatever directly happens to this account, you can see. So to begin, first you need a game that's registered with Save Wizard. And you can go to savewizard.net and look at their games list and see which games you can register with. For me, my games are... well, I have a lot. And these are uncategorized. But I have a bunch on my system right now. Two recommended ones is Cyberpunk. You can also use Crash Bandicoot. You can also use Far Cry 4. You can use GTA 5, which is the save that I'm going to copy to register my profile with. You can use Horizon. I'm just going through what I see right now. You can use most of these LEGO games because they're all supported. Most of them are. I don't know if LEGO Worlds is. Um, Minecraft you cannot use, which I know a lot of users have. But you can resign saves to games that don't need to be registered. Like I will show you with another game. You can use the Monopoly one too. Just There's a whole bunch of games that you can use to register your profile. So first, go to your settings, which I just showed you how to get to. Go to Application, Save Data Management. Make sure that the game that, you have, that you're using to register your profile with, you have already opened it and saved the game at least once. So if you're using GTA 5, like I am, then go ahead and start your game save it after like the first mission or whenever you can freely walk around and not be locked in something you, you know what I mean when you can physically save your game without the game saving your game so without jumping ahead go to settings go to application save data management go to save data and system storage go to copy to USB storage device make sure you have it plugged in to your PlayStation's USB slot. Now, I don't even have to look that far. Mine's right here. So I'm going to use this autosave, which is fine. And I'm going to hit copy. Now, it has copied it to your flash drive. So if I go to my flash drive, I'm just using my PlayStation to view what's on my flash drive right now. It shows that the only game save on there is Grand Theft Auto 5. And this would be if you had zero game saves on your thing before. But just copy it to your flash drive. And then go ahead and get your flash drive. Which I'm going to go do now. Now go plug it into your computer. Okay, now we're going to go switch over to the computer. Okay, there's OBS. Now here's Save Wizard. Here is your... Here's your game save. It created the folder PlayStation 4, or PS4. Then save data. And then this, these numbers and these letters, this is your user ID. This is what the PlayStation name that you chose looks like 
in phonetic alphabet. This is the Kusa title for the game. This is basically what the, what the game's name is in its own phonetic alphabet. And these are your files. You don't have to do anything. I'm just showing you all of this. So, open up Save Wizard. Go to My Saves. Go to the Cheats tab. Use the little down arrow to get to the, um, the game. And hit Register Profile. I normally enter it based off of what my actual profile says. This one is killer734521. And I hit enter and then I just hit apply. And then now when I look at it, it says the PSN slash profile ID is that. So you can actually delete the game save. Yes. Now I'm going to show you how to resign a save. Now, if you want a game save, you can go to this website here, which is Player Squared, the forums, and this has a bunch of game saves. And it's funny, someone even uploaded their Platinum World for Minecraft. That's cool. Um, I am Blood Drive 65 on the forum. If you have any questions, you can hit me up. But let's just go to one of mine. That way I'm not using somebody else's. Latest starting threads. And here's all of the saves that I've uploaded. And you can click on whatever one you want. Like Goat Simulator. Just hit the download. Start downloading it. And just save it somewhere on your computer. I've already... It's my game save. I've already saved it. I'm not worried about saving it again. But once you have your game save saved, go to Resign in Save Wizard. Select Import. Now I'm going to click the root folder of my external hard drive. I'm going to open this up for you guys to see it a little better. Yeah, it's very cluttered, I know. I'm not worried about that. I clean it up from time to time. So I organized mine into a PlayStation 4 folder. Just navigate to where your game save is. These right here, I guess you can't really see it. These are where I keep all of my game saves, everywhere. Every game save for every game. I'm gonna show you what's called an instant plat, where you get the platinum of the game by literally just opening the game save. This is very odd for someone to use and do, but I would not suggest doing this if you value being on trophy leaderboards. This account right here will never be on trophy leaderboards and I'm not worried about it. So you find your save, make sure it's in a zip format, then you select it and you import it and then the screen will pop up from which profile you choose. Choose the one that you're doing. Mine's going to be this one. And hit apply. I'm doing this slow enough that way people can grasp it for the first time. And once the video progresses, I'll just be a little bit faster. I know I'm jumping ahead of myself a little bit. I'd, I'd do that anyways. While we're waiting, if you want, you can join my Discord right here. It's for Save Wizard. This is me right here. I kind of wish my Discord would load up. This is my welcome page. It's just being very slow. Here we go. Yeah. This is the link that you can use right here. Discord.gg slash RQ capital V H N and then capital A and Q. I don't know why I spelled all of that, but I did. Now it's done re-signing the save. You can just press OK, and if you want to be safe, you can pull your flash drive out now, or you can go and eject it manually. We're going to eject the USB device. Now it says that it's been removed. Okay, so now we're going to go switch back to the PlayStation. Alright, hey guys, so I know I had a dilemma 
but I found out that I couldn't use sounds and shapes because you can't sync the online data to the game anymore due to the fact that it does not have it won't let you sign in so it's not an instant platinum anymore I didn't know that I'm just sort of updating myself in the video for this just because and same thing with the game Oceanhorn so when I was on the profile that's selected now killer734521 it had already I had already used it as tests for the two saves that I was going to show my two out of three saves that I was going to show for the instant platinum so right now what I'm going to show you is cat lateral damage under the account Xbox Achievements, which is just another test account that I have. Here it is. And just so you can see that I'm not faking anything, I'll switch to my opposite account. The one that I'm doing the main videos on. And here it is. Instant Platinums are a very rare breed of trophies. As you can see, I tried to load up sounds and shapes and I couldn't. And I had already done cat lateral damage on here. And I had already done ocean horn on here. So now when I go switch, I'll log out and go back to my account that I have to save for. And I'm going to test it on here. And you will watch all the trophies pop instantly, like I promised. I'm a man of my word. I know I'm blowing time right now, but... So firstly, if you copied it from Save, if you resigned it from Save Wizard, go to your settings, go to Application, Save Data, Save Data on USB, Copy to System, select the save, hit Copy. As you can see, this was made in 2018. Now copy. Even if it's if it says overwrite, just overwrite it. It's no big deal. Now, if it's not on your XMB menu, that's what I call it, you can just find it in your list right here. And here's cat lateral damage. As you can see, it says start. And I don't have the game owned. I don't have any information. I can't look at any trophies. It's because I don't have any trophies on this game. Let's see if. Let me show you real quick. Yeah, see, now it goes to Vitas. And these are all going to be Vitas all of them anyways so go to your go to your game mine's right here and start it now we're gonna watch every single trophy pop on the left hand side up here in the corner this is actually kind of a funny game but it's no big deal Last time I did this, I did this with a remote play on the opposite account. <laughs> okay. Some of the trophies might be a little delayed, but you're going to get all of them. I mean all.
I'm sorry about the double audio. I didn't realize that. But now you see I got every trophy for the game. 100% platinum or polatinum. <laughs> polatinum at all. That's the screenshot for the game. For the platinum, tro the polatinum trophy. It's called platinum. I'm just being stupid. Anyways. So, as you can see, I just got all of them. And you can see the time stamps are like minutes apart. Maybe seconds. Yeah, see, this, this one was slightly before. Yeah, they were all within the same three minute time span from... 223 to 225. Yep. 223 to 225. So it took it took about three whole minutes in between to pop every single trophy for this game. That's what an instant platinum does. You can actually close the game now. You don't need it anymore. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to show you how to do was how to re-region a game so let's go back to the computer hey computer so here we are with the computer and I'm going to show you how to re-region a game so grab your flash drive that you want to do it to and put it on there and I'm just gonna show you with um... Red Dead Redemption it's the easiest game I can think of, and it's like, it's right here. So, you don't need anything on here, but I'm gonna get rid of everything that's on the save, j the flash drive, just in case. So, have your game save on the flash drive. So, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to resign the game save from the region that I want on the flash drive. I'm just going to do the 100% save. Okay, so here is my 100% game save for the game. I'm resending it to the profile that I'm going to be showing you on. Okay. The game save, the, the your region's game save is on here. It should be yours, it can be whatever. Just make sure it's, just make sure the game save that's under your region is resigned to you. Now, resign the other game save that you want. So, EU saves, where are they? EU downloads. We're just going to do the Bountiful one. Now, when we apply that to the same profile, what you need to do is go to the Cheats tab next. Alright, so go to your Cheats tab. So, we're going to be changing a EU gave sa gave s game save into a US one. So, you have the one from your thing under... The one from your profile under you. It can be any save. So, just make like a quick game save. Save it, copy it to the flash drive. And it'll have the profile that you want it to be changed to on there. Along with the game save from your region. Now, choose the other one. Go to advanced mode on the other one, the one that you're taking the EU save from. Now hit export. I'm just going to put it in the same folder. Now hit close. Now on the one on the save that you're changing the region of, mine would be the US one. Hit advanced mode. And then type the first digit of the save, or of the hex data, which is the zero. So type zero, and now it went forward one digit. 
So hit import file. We're going to select the EU hex data save file that we extracted just a second ago. And now it went from 100% to 79.2. Hit apply and hit yes. And when you're on the console and you copy it over, it'll display that it's the save from the original region. So it'll say that it's 100% when I put it on the game right now. So I can actually delete this one. That's the 79 Mary Beth save, whatever. And we have the other save. So now we can eject it. And now we're going to go to the console. Okay. And we're going to move the flash drive from the console to the to the PS4. Okay. Go to your thing that you'd copy with. Like I said, it's going to say the 100% save file data, even though it's not. Hit overwrite, yep. Now we're going to go open up RDR2, story. There it is. waiting on it to respond. As you can see, it even said that I had 1%. Now, mind, be mindful that this, this has a decent length of loading time, so it's going to be like a minute and a half of loading. Alright, so this is the game save that has the Bountiful on it. No, we want to ignore that. Yes, I mean what I'm saying. Am I sure? Yes, I'm sure. Let's go look at the map real quick. I didn't mean to change the view. And Bountiful means that you need to be in all three, in all the regions have a bounty over 250 on each one and it's not gonna pop instantaneously but you can see that they all have a bounty over 250 and it's proof that the game save that I chose to resign and use now is here this is Arthur I believe yeah But that's re regioning a game save. I had to load up the other one, but here it is. Yeah, if you follow the instructions, you can probably earn the trophy and all that. Oh, he got 100% on this too, apparently. Oh, that's the story. I was about to say. Yeah, because he has a 79% completion. Okay.
Yeah, 79.2. See, I, I forgot the percentage. So even if I was trying to be illegitimate, you could still tell that it's the correct percentage. Okay. So that is the re-regioning process. Alright everyone, I'm back, and I'm going to show you how to... Whoops, wrong direction. I'm going to show you how to re-sign a save. It's very simple. You should have already seen me... You should have already have seen me done it before. Um, it's It's really, really really quite simple so what we do is we go up here to our save data and you know I showed you how to register it before so once you have it registered you can go to your computer so let's go to that now we're on the computer uh, open up save wizard and hit resign import and select the game save that you would like Mine is going to be for Crash Bandicoot. For it's about 4, 106%, and open. And there's two save datas in here. Just resign both. Okay, now that you have your game save on there, you can go and unplug your flash drive, plug it into your system. Which I'm doing now. Alright. Now we're going to go back to the PS4. And copy it. I've already resigned the save onto here before, but it's no big deal. Now load up your game. All right, so it's about to show the 100% save of the 100 106% save of this game. That that's basically what this game's 100% is, and I already earned the trophies and all that. Um, I have a few things that I gotta do still, I like the multiplayer side, but you know it's fine. So see, now this save with all that great stuff is on there. And you'll see in a second once it updates to Crash Bandicoot 4. Yeah, and these are just the missing ones that I need to do. But, yeah. So, that is the gist of it with resigning. It's very simple, very straightforward. Now, let's go back to the computer real quick. Now, remember, this is my Discord. 
I work very hard on trying to keep this thing maintained. If you guys want to come in here and have some fun, learn a bit more about Save Wizard, I would suggest that you go to the welcome page first. It'll tell you pretty much everything that you need to know. Um, I'll have the link to the Discord server pretty much throughout the entire video somewhere in the video. And here's our rules as well, our channel guide, announcements, you know, and just just everything that you need to know about Save Wizard, I've compiled together. I try very hard to keep it going. One last thing I want to show you is my website. It's the guidebook. It has access to the Discord as well, so that way you can reach it. And you can join it by going here. The website is coreyshocks2.wixsite.com slash guidebook. Well, there's a hyphen in between Save Wizard and Guidebook. But, yeah, that is how it works. That is how you do everything. Um, there's a few small things that require separate videos that take a bit more time to teach and understand. But that's the basics right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry it was so long. I was just trying to be very thorough and not mess up anything, but hey, everybody starts somewhere. So, have a good one.